Three shots clear of the field with one round left to play, Marianne Scarpnord was who they were all chasing. Three bogeys in the first four holes ruled England's Ali Givens out of contention, but a birdie at the fifth was something to cheer about. Victoria's premier state-based event brought fans in droves to 13th Beach. At the downhill par 3 third, Scarpnord's radar was on. In her professional debut, Victorian Sue O oh was coming from four behind and watched a chance to get within two slip by. Before the Norwegian birdied to reinstate a three-shot buffer. Canada's Laurie Kane was never in the mix, but a birdie at nine helped the four-time LPGA winner finish in a tie for eight. Scarpnord shows she could also master the chip and run, setting up another birdie at the par five fifth. It soon became a two-horse race between Scarpnord and O, the 18-year-old thrilling galleries with her approach to the ninth. Pressure started to build for Scarpnord, who got too cute from behind the ninth green as her lead was trimmed to one. Rachel Hetherington made a big move in her first full event since retiring in 2010. She two parted for birdie at 14 and closed with another to finish tied for fourth. But at 42, raising a family remains her priority instead of a return to the LPGA. I'm really happy just playing the Aussie events and, um, and being home and uh, raising Annie. A Sunday charge never eventuated for Scotland's Sally Watson, but a solid approach to the 13th set up her highlight for the day as she eventually settled for a share of eighth. Oh, soon found herself in a share of the lead as Scarpnord made her third bogey for the day at 13. The Melbourne teenager could sense an opening at the short par for 15th with a sublime pitch to a tricky back left flag. But the opportunity for the outright lead went begging. Crowds started to swarm around 13th Beach's closing stretch. O came to the par 5 72nd hole, one behind Scarpnord needing a grandstand finish and she didn't get it, hitting her second into a hazard. Spectators did what they could to find her ball. Even Premier Dan Andrews joined the search party. Premier, great to see a great turnout down here and you're helping out by looking for a golf ball at the moment. Yeah, I'm not being much help. Um, no, I don't think they're going to find it in here. But her ball was declared lost. Greenside for two, the pressure was off for Scarpnord and she pitched beautifully in front of a vocal Victorian crowd. O oh, hold out gallantly for Bogey to finish tied second alongside Clyburn. Leaving centre stage for Scarpnord to seal a three shot win. Yeah! It was nothing short of a fairy tale finish for the three time Ladies European Tour winner, who was the one to catch almost the entire week. Only weeks ago, she bought a house at 13th Beach with her fiance, Richard Green. Now the happy couple can share in the spoils of being Oates Victorian Open champions. Oh, this week has been unreal. First we move into a new house and he's got an albatross on Wednesday and now we're here. I just I can't, can't describe it. It's awesome. Scarpnord's 13 under total was good enough for a three shot win with O and Clyburn sharing second on 10 under followed by Rachel Hetherington at eight under par. For Scarpnord, her seventh win as a professional will be mighty hard to top.